Interoperability communication is extremely important, if not the most important part of the future of ambulance and emergency communication, especially in today's climate where we are often under the threat of terrorism. A lot of the impetus for the heart project from the Department of Health was in response to September the 11th or the London bombings. HART stands for the Hazardous Area Response Team. So we are specifically trained in order to be able to deploy into those kind of hazardous environments. We've had recent cases where we've had uh, gas leaks or even gas explosions, and it's been particularly useful for the teams on scene, such as the Hazardous Area Response Team, uh, the police, the fire, to communicate effectively between themselves if they see any risks. The control room obviously receives all the calls from members of the public. Control then alert us through the airwave system and it will page us. Part 007, that's all received, Red Base, so I'll go mobile now. En route to the job, the airwave system is used to update us. Heart team leader, thank you. Just some further details for you on this incident in Hartlepool. And once we're at scene, we will then send the information the other way to the control room, detailing how many patients, what types of injuries. The receiving hospitals have the facility to use airwave too, so we can always communicate directly with them. Uh, similarly with the likes of the air ambulances, we use airway in order to communicate with the air ambulance. The benefits of that are potentially between life and death effectively, you know.